Dota. Revolutionizing Internet of Things. Yes! My name is Bruno Johnson. I'm the CEO of Cascoda. And Cascoda is a fabulous semiconductor company. Uh, we make uh, semiconductor devices for the Internet of Things. So that is radio devices that solves one of the fundamental problems for the Internet of Things. That is, we have very low power radios that have the same range as Wi-Fi. Inventing a new radio architecture is something that very rarely happens in history. In fact, in the last 40 years of digital radio communications history, there's been no fundamental breakthrough in receiver architectures. At the time, uh, existing radio architectures were unable to fulfill the range requirement um, that is needed for the Internet of Things. Everybody has become used to the range of Wi-Fi and existing radio technologies were not able to achieve the range of Wi-Fi because Wi-Fi is allowed to transmit with 100 milliwatts of power. So we developed a completely new radio architecture which overcomes this problem by having much, much better receive sensitivity. Effectively, we have much bigger ears. So we're able to achieve the same range as Wi-Fi by listening better. When we started to, uh, to research uh, our technology, uh, it was fairly clear uh, that something had to be done on the receiver side, not the transmitter side of the radio. The outcome was uh, really unknown. <laughs> um, because technology as such ha hadn't moved forward. Uh, quite a few months of research, uh, we, we had a hint that uh, using mathematical transforms uh, on the specific standard that we're working to, uh, which is 802.15, IEEE 802.15.4, sort of saving power on one side whilst maintaining a nearly ideal performance. With the Cascoda team, we've been working together for 20 years. We really understand semiconductor communications technology, and we know how to design, develop, build, model, and prove this technology. And this allows our technology be, to be installed alongside uh, Wi-Fi in existing buildings, homes, and industrial plants. To actually create a chip that is cheap enough and reliable enough to be put into production is a very, very difficult thing to do. So it took us many years of R&D uh, to come to the position that we are now. Inventing a new technology and bringing it to market is extremely difficult. The first issue is a credibility issue. We need to work with partners. So we work with module manufacturers and wireless systems providers. Um, but we also work with ecosystem providers. But it was fairly clear that uh, a lot more of, of, of sensing and monitoring and control technology was going to be more and more wireless. 